Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is going to be about donations and sticking to the script. I know y'all like what? Donations sticking to the script. Yeah. Some of y'all know I love to give away donations a lot. Um, and let me explain to y'all what I mean by that. So when you hear a, a video that says donations, um, or something with donations, you'll know I'm talking about somebody did something foolish, okay? Um, you know how they say you have excuses and you have reasons. Excuses basically is something you use when there's really no reason. That's how I feel. Um, and the reason is something is out of your control. That is what it is, and that's why it's the way it is, or whatever the case may be. Um, oh. Yeah, I polished my my nails. I put a gold glitter on this one finger. I polished them to match what I have on my toes. And my toes are still looking good, y'all. They are looking good. Y'all know I'm random and I'm all over the place. But I don't know if y'all can see my feet. But they're still looking awesome. It's awesome, awesome. They're still looking good. So I was like, hmm, let me go on and do my fingers. I be changing them up so much because I do so much with my hands. But, yeah, I just got to put a top coat and do the other hand. So, anywho, um, donations. For instance, a woman who may keep herself up. And every time you see her, she fly and delicious. But either her house is nasty or her kids look a mess. Um, there's no excuse for that. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason for it neither. So whatever she uses for it can be donated. Like, oh girl, that's because I be busy and the kids be messing up the house and they don't hardly go nowhere and da 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 whatever. I'm going to need you to donate that. And usually I feel like this. Um, donations and stuff... You can't use. I can't use it, so therefore, I'm going to give it to somebody else. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe somebody else can use it because I can't use it. But then again, you have some donations that you don't even need to give to nobody else. You need to just keep it to yourself or do something else with it, like trash it. You feel what I'm saying? Just remove it out of the whole cipher. Anywho, um, yeah, some some people just really need to donate a lot of stuff um, and, and trash a lot of stuff, too trash a lot of stuff because some of them can be used by other people but when you have no excuse you have no reason for why you're doing what you're doing mm -mm. don't try to give it to nobody else you feel what i'm saying because everybody ain't in for you know people who are real and trying to do right by their children and be a good represent representation of their children or whatever the case may be um they can't use it either so it's going to usually, unless you have a circle of people who just love to, uh, you know what I'm saying, use unnecessary stuff, then that's when you can let them um, take it or whatever you want to call it. But anywho, I just say that's what my donations thing is. Like, mm, for real, mm, I'm going to need you to donate that. Really. Okay. Sticking to the script. I am who I am. This is who God made me. You feel what I'm saying? You are who you are. That's who God made you. The funny part about it is, um, oh, y'all seeing my hair up close for the first time? Yeah. Um, I went back black. I got bored with the other color for a quick minute, and I just wanted my black back. Look at my friend popping up trying to Skype somebody. She better sit her butt down somewhere. Anywho, watch my thing. Probably going to be beeping. Boop, boop, boop in a minute. Um, she was trying to have me on there all day. No. Anywho, so, yeah. My thing is, we only have one creator. Bump what you heard. We only have one creator, and being that we only have one creator, um, he created you. Duh. So, because he created you, he know how you're supposed to work. You feel what I'm saying? Not only that, that's just like when you buy, um, a computer, you're not going to go and Google um, eyelashes or something, some bull crap like that to figure out how your computer works. It can't do nothing for you. Why? Because it is not created for that. It was not the directions and the instructions for how to apply eyelashes cannot help you in no way, shape or form. 
I say this because you just see a lot of people who can't stick to the script. He gave you your script. He gave you, my email's popping up, y'all. He gave you who you supposed to be and what you are. There's no reason for you to be trying to peek over on somebody else's script and keep up with what they're doing because he built them a certain way for just what he gave them and built you a certain way for just what you have. My thing is this. Why not stick to your script? It's only one of you. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody else can't duplicate that no matter how hard they try. You cannot be duplicated because the duplicate is inside and out. And if they try to do that, they, I mean, they're on a whole nother above cloning level. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's not just looks, it's everything that God has made me that makes me me. So I don't need to look on your script and try to figure out how you do things. Granted, I feel I'm unique. Everybody else should feel they are too with their build and the way that God made them inside and out. You should feel unique. Why? Because there's only one of you. So embrace who you are. Embrace you. Be you. And I, it, it, what are I here? Be you, be you, be beautiful. Literally. Everybody, everything God has made is beautiful. Everything God has created is beautiful. No, we may not like certain stuff about us because I, ooh. You know what I'm saying? I deal with it and I still work it. But growing up, I used to hate my forehead. I used to be like, oh, I can't stand my forehead, uh, whatever, whatever. But you want to know something? Hmm. Whatever. Say what you want. Four, five, six head, whatever you want to call it. Yes, it's mine. And I rock it well. Hmm. Would you like to try it? No, you probably ain't got the guts too. So anywho, let's move on. Those are the things where I say love yourself. You feel what I'm saying? Love yourself. Love who you are. because it's only one of you. When you when you leave, it, there's not another one. People can try, people can imitate, but it's only one of you. But um, sorry y'all, I just made this, so I need to like be drinking it before it start melting. This is my um protein flaxseed uh super superfood <clears throat> yogurt banana honey cinnamon smoothie. Yeah, <laughs> it's real good. But um, so you hear people say. Let, let's just let's just talk about things like don't wear white after this time or you don't do this and it's not good to wear this or do this or do that whatever or um uh you only do this for this season you don't do that for that season who said that somebody created it somebody made it somebody said this is how it's going to be how does that person have so much authority for them to be so special that what they say continues to go on for years and years and everybody just conform to that and that is what it is? Whatever. Screw you. Mm. Know why? Because if I want to wear white today, tomorrow, the next day, if I want to wear bright, I'm talking about bright, 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 white. In New York, in the winter, I'm going to do it. If I want to wear right, high, bright yellow in the winter, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do what I want to do because I like what I like. You ain't going to tell me and nobody's going to tell me what I can and cannot do. Why? That's me. That's my script. Why? I need to stick to it. If that's how I feel. Oh, they're going to oh, they um maybe they're not going to like um if I because, you know, white is you crazy. You better go sit down somewhere. And that's why I don't have a lot of um people mingling with me i don't mingle with a lot of people you feel what i'm saying i try to reach out to people and you know do things with different ladies and stuff like that but i wrote dolo i don't have uh oh my girls my friends my bestie my uh, uh, i don't do all that no no ma'am sorry don't do it you know what i'm saying if 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 god blesses you know, i do have two besties i'm not even on front i do they don't live here though but they back in new york but um and they like sisters. We were so young when we met and we just stayed, you know, close, connected, whatever, whatever. They ride or die for real, for real. But what I'm saying is um, just just to have people, people, people. I don't need nobody to push me. I don't need nobody to up, 
lift me. I don't need to be around people to validate me. I am who I am. And as I've gotten older, I've learned to embrace that because I was born alone and I'm going to die alone. And whatever decisions I make, I got to be accountable for them. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody else can be accountable for my decisions. Ladies, all I'm saying is embrace who you are. Embrace who you are. Embrace um that there's only one of you. You get what I'm saying? And, and that sounds awesome. Just like people pay a lot of money for one of a kind. People um, enjoy knowing that there's only one or two of this item in, in, in the whole world or whatever the case may be. Think about it. It's only one of you. And why not love who you are? Why not embrace who you are? Why not just take it to the next level with loving you. Learn to love who you are and stop using excuses and reasons and be better with everything in your cipher, your children, your husband, your your jobs, your businesses, whatever. Just be better with it and, and know that at the end of the day, the decision you make is yours. The decision you make is from you. You get what I'm saying? People can tell you things and say things all day, but at the end of the day, it's up to you. And if this is new to you, this nail polish is teal blue. Got this from um Forever 21 um for like 49 cents. But um you have to embrace who you are. You have to um learn to love who you are and don't let nobody change you. Not a man or anything. And, you know, there was one point in my life where that was literally possible because I wanted so much for my daughter that I was willing to take uh, anything from a man um, as far as making sure because I didn't have my dad that I would have um, her have both of her parents. And sometimes we do that also, and, and that guy may not be good for us at all. And I found out it wasn't me. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't me. It was him. He was insecure, so he wanted to bring me down because I was a confident person, and I love me no matter what. You get what I'm saying? And, and you hear me say I love me, and sometimes people say, well, if you love you, why are you trying to lose weight? What you fail to realize is you is your personality. You is how... God made you inside your attribute, attributes, your your um attitude, your characteristics, your you get what I'm saying. Everything that makes you is deeper than your physical, and I love that. But physically, I know health wise, if I don't get a, a hold of my body, the physical body, and do right by that. I can't be here long to be a blessing to other women and to my children. And one day I'm going to share with y'all because sometimes people judge people, but you have no clue. You have no clue. And when I say no clue, I'm not just talking because people say, oh, I've been through. No, not just have I been through, but I've done some things that will make you be like, you? Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to say that for another video a little bit later on. Um, yeah, life, you know, trying to do, trying to please. And um, basically didn't want to, I didn't want to have handouts from nobody, the government, nothing. I did what I had to do. And um, that was that was it. Y'all, I'm painting my nails while I'm talking to y'all. But this was just some straight talk that I felt I had to throw out there because I ain't trying to be funny. But just looking at some videos, it's it's kind of crazy because if you're a good person, who ju a good judge of character, you can tell when somebody is genuine and you can tell when somebody is doing something, um, trying to find themselves or when somebody is trying to imitate what they see or whatever the case may be. Um, I get people inboxing me, oh, you should do makeup, your bone structure, I just want to see how makeup look. Maybe one day I will. And the funny thing is, I wore it so much, I'm not real old, but I've wore it so much, you know, years past that I'm not even, I mean, into the colors and stuff. I'm not saying I'm not into it, but I just, I don't be feeling like doing that every morning. I really don't, y'all. So maybe one day I'll um, 
be nice and I'll do do an eye, have one done and do another eye or something like that. Maybe soon I'll do it. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Um, but my, my channel is really supposed to be focused on inspiring and weight loss. That's the main focus, you know, along with other things that women love. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, y'all, stick to the script. Because the creator gave you the best script for you. He created you so he know how you should work. You feel what I'm saying? He has your instructions, directions, and everything that goes to you. He gave it to you. Don't try to change from that. Don't try to look on somebody else's um script. Because theirs is made out for something totally different. See, what you fail to realize is your script is made for you. So since it's made for you, Looking on somebody else's script who may be, um, who may have went through a rape, uh, uh, imprisonment or, um, just crazy things in their life and you don't know why they're doing certain things now or why they are the way they are now is because you didn't read the past few scenes before you met this person. Stick to your script because you're built just for your script and that is only what you should be focusing on not nobody else's do what you do please yourself i could care less how people feel about me yes i am on youtube yes i am here to bring things and you know inspiration motivation and just funny fun fun live laugh love that's what i'm about that's what i'm here to bring but at the same time i ain't trying to be on here to impress nobody by no means am i rich I don't claim to be, you know, some superstar. I don't claim to be nothing that God has not made me yet. And if I do, I will let y'all know when any of those occur. Uh, and most likely, I'll be uh, blessing you guys with, you know, some of my blessings. But other than that, nothing special. You get what I'm saying? I am special. We all are special. But uh, I'm not going to be on here acting like I'm God's gift to uh, his holy world or, or anything like that because I'm not. You know what I mean? I want to be real. I want to be me. And <clears throat> that's all I can be. You feel what I'm saying? That's all I can be. And um, those who like it, I love it. Those who don't, I love that too. You know why? Because it makes me who I am. And everybody is not going to like you. And that's what you need to realize. Everybody is not going to like you. Who cares? You know what I mean? That's because we're different. You feel what I'm saying? It's a saying I say, uh, you laugh because I'm different, but I'm smiling because y'all all the same. Go figure. So, um, yeah, I, I've always liked to do what I do. I've always been a leader. I don't, I don't like to follow nobody. If I want to do things a certain way and it's not going to hurt, harm, or injure anybody in my family or me, I'm talking about from anything, from eating to uh, riding a bike or whatever the case may be, I'm going to do it because that's what I want to do. Um, and I feel with my channel too, I want to keep it drama free. I have three girls. You get what I'm saying? I have three young ladies. And um, if they can't come on and watch my videos or tell people about my videos without being embarrassed, then... That's something I need to think about. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want them to ever see my videos and be like, that's mommy? Mm -mm. I ain't conforming to nothing. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not a cursor. You ain't going to hear me using profanity and you'll hear me say that. And to each his own. To each his own. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, that's just what people, I just don't, I just don't feel as me as a lady that I should be doing that. That's just, that's me. That's not that's my opinion if you don't like it i don't know what to tell you i mean we all have them they say they like buttholes we all have them okay so that's how i feel but i love you know what i'm saying there's a lot of women who curse but i love watching their videos why because they're funny and a lot of times they have a lot of things to say that has nothing to do it doesn't discredit them because they curse or nothing like that i just haven't never been a cursor and and crazy thing is when i do curse i sound real funny people used to laugh at me like i put er on the end of words that don't need to like mother effort uh oh he real gangster like for real no i just never been a cursor but i would tell you off and make you feel smaller than a grain of rice and then you'll realize this chick ain't even cuss me out i i've done it so many times and people are like you you know you didn't for what i can say what i need to say without cussing and it's gonna hurt you a little bit more why because you had to think about what it said yeah yeah th did she just yeah i did mm -hmm. no i didn't cuss 
I don't have to. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's one of my little random beds and straight talk with Miss CPR. I'm going to do these at least once or twice a month. Did one last month. But, um, yeah, y'all. I just feel like being on YouTube, I get inboxes that are just so amazing. It's so awesome. It's so, 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 so awesome to get the inboxes that I get, the um, inspiration I'm giving to women and them just wanting to chat. Um, that makes me feel good because that makes me feel like they see something in me. You get what I'm saying? And it's something about me that um, makes them want to either get to know me or share what they have with me, um, conversation or whatever. So stick to the script. It's yours till you die. If you keep on sending it over to someone, you know how they say you, um, you got one path and got a, uh, uh, it's, it's two paths. You got the right way or the wrong way. Do you not realize when you keep going the wrong way, you're going to keep hitting dead ends. You're going to keep having to come back. Why not stick to the script? It's going to take you where you need to go. You know what I'm saying? Where you need to go, what's best for you in your life if you stick to the script. That's how I look at it. Guys, I got to finish painting my nails. I love you guys. Be blessed. Be blessed. But remember, it can always be worse. It can always be worse. But thank God it's not. All right? Deuces.